morning, everybody. We'll call this meeting of the Rules Committee to order, and the first order of business is approval of the minutes from Tuesday, January 24th, 2023. Vice Chair Hollins, would you care to move the minutes? Yes. Uh, so moved, Mr. Chair. Any discussion to the minutes from January 24th? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? The uh, minutes are adopted. Uh, next on our agenda is the calendar for the day for Monday, January 30th, which will be driver's licenses for all, House File 4, Representative Gomez. Any discussion to the calendar for the day? Chair? Uh, Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I don't see Representative Gomez here, so are we, we're not going to have chief authors here when we have a controversial bill? No, Representative O'Neill, we will not have chief authors here. Uh, I did confirm that that has not been the tradition of the Rules Committee. The bill is not actually in our possession or before us, so we are not uh, going to, we wouldn't have any ability to modify the bill in the committee, so we don't have a need for the chief authors. What we're here for is to discuss the calendaring and timeline for the floor. Okay, well, I was on Rules Committee in the, I'm sorry, may I speak again? Yes, Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I was on Rules Committee in the past. In fact, I remember talking to my colleague who's been here almost as long as I have, not quite as long. And he actually remembers being a chief author, having to come and be here to watch our bills. But, you know, nonetheless, you guys are in charge. You can do what you want to do. Um, after this, I do have another concern since we didn't receive direct rules until, I think, 7 o'clock last night. So when we get to that point. Okay. Thank you, Representative O'Neill. Uh, well, then I will, uh, seeing no further discussion to the calendar for the day, I move the adoption of the calendar for the day pursuant to Rule 1.21 and 3.33. Uh, which would designate January 30th, 2023 for the adoption of the calendar for the day and establish a pre-filing requirement for amendments offered to those bills. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? No. no. Calendar for the day is adopted. Uh, next, we will be taking up the uh, Senate Concurrent Resolution 1, the temporary joint rules. Uh, the joint rules are the same as they have been since uh, 2009, which is why the uh, green uh, <laughs> handout that we all have has 2009, 2010 as the date on the joint rules. We have uh, simply extended these so they would be designated as temporary, but they would allow for the Senate and the House uh, to operate as needed under these joint rules. Um, and they specify different circumstances that uh, where there might need to be uh, joint meetings or uh, joint um, decision making and how that would be uh, completed under the joint rules. Uh, so discussion to the joint rules. Uh, Leader Damon. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, with the late notice uh, yesterday that we would be taking up the joint rules today, uh, always appreciate a little bit extra time when we have, but given the fact that there's been no changes made to these rules, um, I do agree with it and I will be voting yes for approval. Thank you, Leader Damon. And I'll just note, I did speak to you before uh, putting them on yep. <laughs> for today to ensure that uh, we were okay with them and the senate moved them on the first day of session and has just been waiting for us to get them in place so this would at least allow if there was a need for a joint meeting that we would have that structure in place uh, representative Torkelson. well thank you mr chair um the only instance i can remember that's when we vote in joint uh, session is the regents is that correct uh that is a, a common time when we go into joint session. This would also um, set up a structure for conference committees and other joint meetings if those mm -hmm. were necessary. But uh, as far as voting on the House floor in joint session, that does happen, at least in the Regent meeting. Correct. Is there any, my question, Mr. Chair, is there any provision in here for remote voting? Uh, there is not a remote voting provision in the joint rules. Thank you. Uh, further discussion to the temporary joint rules. Representative O'Neill. Thank you. So just again, this I'm looking at the email right now where the rest of us members who are also active participants in this committee were informed at 713 last night that the joint rules would come up with a link to the rules. So I would just ask that we would get a little bit more advance notice since this isn't uh, a 1010 meeting in the morning the next day. Um, our staff, my staff at least, goes home at 4 o'clock because he's here very early. So it would be uh, a courtesy, I think, to the rest of us if it came out a bit earlier so we could digest it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative O'Neill. Further discussion to the temporary joint rules? Uh, seeing none, then I will move that uh, SCR1, the temporary joint rules, be recommended to the House of Representatives for adoption. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
the Senate Concurrent Resolution 1 is adopted. Uh, and that is our business today, members, so we are adjourned.